Okay, so say you've got this kick drum and you just don't like the way it sounds. Alright, you see what I mean. Um, what we might want to do here is to replace it. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is go to Strip Silence in the audio menu. And what this is going to do is take out all the area in between each of the kick hits. You can see here we lower our threshold and it changes um, the number of regions it's going to split it into. We hit OK and there's all of our splices. We zoom in here, you can see all those. And the next thing we need to do is to consolidate all of these back into a contiguous audio file. Um, if we were to do that right now, however, it wouldn't actually keep all, all of our silences we cut out. All we have to do though is insert just a little fade somewhere, somehow edit this audio before we consolidate it back. So we do that in the region menu, go to merge and merge regions. And that's going to ask us, are you sure you want to create a new file? And hit create. When that gets done, there's our contiguous consolidated audio file with our silences intact. And so the next thing we want to do is create a software instrument track and open the library uh, to choose our sound we want to use. I'm going to go to the drums and acoustic drums and choose the Studio Heavy Kit for the kick drum sound. You can use any kick drum sound you want to use. Okay, I'm just going to close the media tab here. The next thing we need to do is to turn our audio into MIDI. So we do that, we double click on our region and then go to the audio menu and audio to score. You can see here we've got some templates here on what to choose on how do we want to trigger this. I'm going to leave that on uh, drums mid-tempo. It's about 145 beats per minute, so that should be good. You can see here um, our score, and we don't need that, so we'll just close that. And then here are our MIDI notes. You can see at the beginning it's a fairly clean input, and here towards the end where there's sort of some symbols and stuff bleeding in there, it's kind of all over the place. So what we need to do is to transpose this. So we're going to go to transform and transposition. And then we don't want to add this. We want to change this to fix and set all of these notes to the first C and the first octave. That's where our kick drum lies. So we do that and then hit select and operate. And then we have all of our MIDI notes on the correct note and all on the same note um, where the kick drum sample is at. Okay, but if we were to play this back now, we can see here it sounds kind of weak, like it's not being hit very hard. Um, so what we need to do is add some velocity to those MIDI notes. So we're going to go back to Transform and Velocity, and then change it from Exponential to Add. We want to add to each MIDI note uh, a velocity of about 30. We'll start there, and if that doesn't work, we can change it later. So we can see now um, the color coding there indicates that those are a higher velocity now. They're a warmer color. And if you listen to that back, now it sounds like the kick drum's being hit harder. And we can add that in with the original. And then here's the old one by itself. And both of them together. You can see quite a difference that makes there. And you can go ahead and do that for the rest of the song.